Yeah, actually, the problem has been increasing over time. Uh, over time, if you if you look at the, the the track record for the last twenty years, every single year, we added seventy four new derelict complete objects in orbit, and uh, we we have today more than five thousand complete either rocket body, rocket castings, or, or, or failed satellites in orbit. And today we're launching substantially more satellites than we did just like three years ago. So the problem is accelerating, and it's becoming more and more uh, preoccupation for either commercial operators, but also for states and, and agencies. Yeah, yeah, and obviously it's worth pointing out that, you know, that doesn't just look bad if you have the privilege of actually being able to look backwards at Earth from space, but obviously it poses a clear and present danger, though, for future missions. Now, you are, or your company, ClearSpace, which you co-founded, is hoping to be part of the solution. Tell us what you're going to do. So we, we're working essentially more, more than a cleanup uh, service. It's it's like if you could call it a roadside service, a friendly roadside service, uh, a tow truck to uh, to intervene in orbit. If you look at the space at the space operation, it's like a little like a very high speed motorway network that's been operating for 60 years without a tow truck. And uh, we're actually building this piece. If we're serious about the future of space operation, as we plan it, as we can see it, unfolding today, it's obvious that we need a new service to be able to actually keep this environment sustainable. So what we do is develop a, a tow truck satellite, if you want, that is able to intervene in orbit, uh, pick up a piece of debris or a satellite is not functioning and provide servicing. And one of those services is to remove it from the motorway, if you want. Wow. Okay. I like the analogy and also the uh, the imagery as well. So you're hoping to be a, uh, I guess, a triple A, a AAA, uh, tow truck for uh, stranded or derelict satellites uh, in space. But here's the thing: uh, you latch onto these uh, satellites, which aren't serving any purpose anymore, and you tow them where? And how does this really help the problem? Unless uh, there's a de designated, I guess. I don't know, maybe not a curbside or, or a safe lane or something like that? Because it's still going to be right. there, so right? in lower... just moving it somewhere else. Exactly. So in, in lower orbits, typically what's done for the end of life for satellites is that they slow down themselves with, with the propulsion system uh, to get in, back into Earth's atmosphere where they burn up. And that's the normal end of life for a satellite in lower orbit. They're designed for that today. Uh, what we do in Earth orbit is pick up a satellite that's not able to do that anymore, slow it down, and place it into, into a rapid reentry orbit. But you can also provide services in the geostationary ring, and there the, the, the action you would do is the opposite. You would take it and move it a little further away into a graveyard orbit where, uh, where, the, where the satellite doesn't present any risk for future operations. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.